morning, I'm Nikki Boyer and welcome to Morning Canvas. Here is your daily dose. Currently showing at the Getty Museum in Los Angeles is one of Jackson Pollock's largest and most iconic paintings. It's called Mural, and it was created in 1943 to fill the entryway of art collector Peggy Guggenheim's New York townhouse. It's about 20 feet long and 9 feet tall and came to the Getty in 2012 to be cleaned and studied, but now it's ready to be seen. Mural will be on display through June 1st. The Smithsonian Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C. houses the Wright Brothers Airplane and Charles Lindbergh's Spirit of St. Louis. Well, the popular tourist attraction has received a $30 million donation from Boeing to help renovate its main exhibition space. Plans are to have the renovation completed by 2016, which is just in time for the museum to celebrate its 40th anniversary. Every year, a new group of music legends gets inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Some of the artists honored this year, Peter Gabriel, Hall & Oates, Nirvana, Linda Ronstadt, and Kiss. The actual Hall of Fame is located in Cleveland, Ohio, where there's a permanent exhibit devoted to all inductees. It includes a multimedia presentation that uses film footage, music, interviews, animation, and still photos to tell their stories. Former President George W. Bush has an artistic side he is bravely making public. His first solo exhibit features his take on world leaders he met while in office, like Russian President Vladimir Putin. Also on display is a painting of his dad, as well as a self-portrait. Now, so far, his work is receiving mixed reviews, but you can judge for yourself if you visit the George W. Bush Presidential Library and Museum in Dallas through June 3rd. Hey, thanks for watching, and make sure to tune in to the full morning canvas every weekday from 7 to 9 a.m. See you tomorrow.